Hello. For those of you who may have been saddened by my previous reading tonight, I present a much more happier story this Christmas with a classic of mine that I wrote three years ago but revised to tell you now. Here is How Paul Bunyan Saved Christmas, a tall tale from World War II. It was Christmas Eve, and the year was 1944. World War II had been raging for five years, and the tide had turned in favor of the Allies. The threat of Nazi Germany's plan for expansion was almost a distant memory. Almost a distant memory, that is. The Allies had liberated France and had pushed through Belgium and part of the Netherlands. The German army was fighting fiercely as they were being pushed back. Hitler was not going to give up easily and vowed to fight the last man. Anyways, old Santa Claus had prepared to do what he had done every year, deliver presents to all the children of the world. Jolly old Saint Nick filled up his bag and put it in the back of his sleigh. He signaled to his reindeer and took off into the sky. Santa flew over every country in the world. The sleigh flew over Europe and passed over the occupied Netherlands. German troops on the ground spotted the sleigh and mistook it for an allied aircraft. Open fire! An officer shouted to his men in German. The searchlights turned on and the anti-aircraft guns opened fire on Santa's sleigh. Santa attempted to dodge the bursting shells as they exploded around him. A squadron of Messerschmitt ME-110 night fighters pursued and attempted to shoot him down. Zeit keining nada, or show no mercy, shouted Reinhold Meisterberger, the German ace in charge of the squadron told his men. Santa evaded the planes, but Meisterberger caught up with him and fired 20 millimeter cannon shells right into the sleigh. Santa fell out and went plummeting into the Ardennes forest in Belgium. Below with the sleigh, reindeer and his bag of presents. They fell to the ground with an almighty crash right into a snowdrift. Santa then heard the shouts of German SS troops and the barking of their dogs. He was safe from them, and so were his reindeer, but the sleigh was damaged. He knew he had to find help. Santa made his way to a U.S. Army encampment not far from where the sleigh went down. The soldiers there were glad to see him. Among them was Paul Bunyan, the giant lumberjack and his blue ox babe. Santa had known of them. I need help. I was shot down trying to deliver presents to the people of the Netherlands, he explained to Bunyan. We could help you. I have a plan, Paul said. The plan was to have Allied planes drop the presents for the people of the Netherlands while Santa's reindeer would pull the sleigh as a decoy with Santa inside one of the bombers. The army officer radioed squadrons in England and in Italy who agreed to drop the presents. Paul went over to England and Babe went to Italy and brought the presents from the bag to the air bases. The air crews loaded their planes with the presents. The squadrons then set off for the Netherlands, with Santa inside the lead plane from Italy. The squadrons flew up into the dark sky and flew over the Netherlands, though they countered the enemy squadron in flak. Not a single plane was lost and the presents were successfully dropped. On Christmas Day, the people of the Netherlands woke up to presents on their doorstep. The Germans had no idea what had just happened. Santa returned to the North Pole and thanked Paul and Babe for helping him. Eventually, the war ended in 1945 and the Netherlands was free from occupation. Paul and Babe were forced into retirement by the U.S. government along with America's other heroes due to the invention of the atomic bomb. Everyone, though, lived happily ever after from that day on except for Reinhold Meisterberger, who ended up dying in battle somewhere over Germany. <laughs>